Hello and welcome to Java Thread Dump Analysis. In this video, we'll see how to create a thread dump and how we can analyze it. So I have a thread dump demo program. So this is a very simple demo program with one main method. Okay, in this program, I am creating an infinite loop. Okay, after creating it, I will run this program. Okay, so my thread dump demo one is running on the background. So we'll use the j start j console and kill command to analyze the thread dump. So on the bash variable, I can say j console. By typing this, I can see that thread dump demo one is running on the PID 59290. If you have j visual VM, then also you can do approach in the same way. Now go to command output, give kill minus quit and the process ID. You can see in the background of Eclipse in the console entire thread dump has been given. There is another command that will help you to analyze that is the JSTAT. JSTAC. Using JSTAC with the process ID, it will print the thread dump on the console. Okay, so this is the thread dump using JSTAC. Okay, so this trace is nothing but the thread dump. So let's start the thread analysis. Okay, go back to the Eclipse console. Once uh, once more time, you uh, clear the console logs. Go to the CLI. Give kill minus quit five nine two nine zero, and get back to the Eclipse console. So you can see like in every thread term started with the time at what time the thread term has been triggered. Okay, and uh, what is the JVM version? It's a 32 bit or 64 bit. So, this attached listeners is the name of thread. It's a type is demo and the priority is 9. This is the TID, it's an internal ID to the thread. This is a native ID, it's a complete OS dependent on Windows. It's a process ID on Linux, it's a lightweight process, and that this thread is in runnable state. Okay, this is the summary of the thread. Likewise, we have our other system thread as well. Now we'll focus on the main thread. Okay, so this is a stack of the main thread where it show it is in a runnable state. And this is the name of the thread. The priority of thread is five. This is the thread ID which is maintained internally. This is the native ID which is dependent on the operating system and this thread is in a runnable state along with thread dump it will trigger the entire heap dump like uh, it will trigger the full gc when we, whenever you take a thread dump okay so the gc is taken as parallel gc and lastly you can see the heap result okay where it will say from what it in space to what it left okay so this is not in the scope of this video we'll cover in heap analysis video in the channel okay so this is how we read the thread dump now we will analyze the another program i have another program written thread dump demo 2 where i have a static method sorry static block where every where a new thread is started okay and it is changing the state of the variable from true to false the initialize is true okay. 
so third is starting now run this program okay so this program is running now go to the again command mode give kill uh, sorry j console to see the process id of this program so this program is running on 59835 process id so you can also use jps command to get the process id of this program okay so you can use kill minus quit 59835 again back go back to your eclipse console so you can see that there are system thread like rmi which we are not cooking another system thread attached listener this is the thread what we are looking for thread 1 okay we will go back to the main state main thread okay so main is blocked sorry main is waiting on one condition okay and it is waiting on the hexadecimal one object and locked on the same object okay so waiting on the one object and locked on the same object so this number hexadecimal number is same waiting on and locked okay what does this mean like uh, it means like uh, we are waiting on the same object where we get the monitor and it is locked on the same monitor state okay so let's see how we can fix the issue so i have just uh, tweaked this uh, program in a way where we can avoid the static initialization of the thread a background thread okay the problem was before the class initialize the background thread is getting initialized so the order of processing is changed now now we are starting the program first then initializing the background thread next again we will generate a thread dump for this okay after taking thread dump we can see the main the main thread what we are interested in so now main is in time wait state okay because we have used uh, sleep there it is waiting on condition okay we are given a uh, thread dot sleep on integer dot max value that's why it's got to the time waiting state so we have resolved that issue where the object is been locked and waiting for the same object okay so next we will see how we can analyze the deadlock detection with thread dump okay so this is a basic uh, deadlock program where two threads thread t1 and thread t2 are synchronized on two object variable in an order like uh, thread 2 is synchronized on resource 2 and then resource 1 thread 1 is synchronized on resource 1 and resource 2 okay so when we run this program We can see in console like a uh, uh, program hangs so we have to see whether it's in waiting or blocked so we again go to our bash we can say jps to get the pid of the deadlock program 
will trigger the thread dump using kill minus quit okay so here you can see thread dump is capable of detecting find one deadlock okay so it has found one deadlock from the program okay so now we'll see the thread stack what is saying there and we have to find which thread we are interested in so we have to thread thread one and thread two okay so you can see the thread one stack and thread two stack okay, which state is blocked okay it is waiting on lock so it has to acquire this lock this uh, number hexadecimal number and it is locked on this uh, another hexadecimal number so thread two is locked on this number and waiting to lock on this number so if we search this lock so it is going to thread one which trying to obtain this lock but but it is locked on another hexadecimal number okay so based on these two factors this uh, thread uh, dump and as this tool has detected there is a one deadlock condition which we have to resolve the only way to resolve a deadlock is to change the code okay remember so apply this approaches to your java application and see how it works if you have any question do let me know i will try to answer over the comment do watch the another videos on the java threading in the channel till then bye thanks for watching the video